all and welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn this little bit of land, which can be found here, into this. After a lot of comments asking for an all-in-one base, I decided to do it and build one for you. This base is made of metal and greenhouse walls and is absolutely mahoosive inside. Now if this is for official PvP servers, I'd skip the greenhouse walls completely and just purely use metal. Now I do like the look of this base, but ultimately it's more about function and practicality than aesthetics. Be sure to subscribe, like and share, and don't forget to join my Discord. So here is a list of the materials I use for this build. Now in terms of railings, it's completely up to you how many or how little you use because this is all preference really. And how you get up and down the levels is again your choice, but I'm going to show you what I've done and I used elevators, stairs and ladders. But before we get into the build, let me give you a tour inside and see what you're going to be building because it is huge. So let's go through the main gate, big behemoth gate, there's my T-Rex, so we've got two elevators at the back, we've got ladders leading to the outside platform you've seen, and this is the first level with hatchways, so if we just go down tech generator there helping with the guns and then a normal generator so this is all the space you've got underneath the base for storage and obviously air cons if you're gonna be breeding dinos and stuff so we'll go back up let's go to the outside platform open the door then we've got access to all our guns here and then obviously this platform that goes all the way around the base very nice right hello mate how are you you good? Good. Oh, got a rogue triangle there. Get rid of that. Right, so this is our two elevators. So we, we've built two. We've tried to make it look aesthetic. So we go in. Very nice. Very cosy, eh? So this will take us to the next level. So you've got a lot of room in here for dinosaurs. A lot of room. So this is our next level. And then here, got another generator, got guns facing at every window. So anyone tries to mess with this base, they're going to get, you know, hurt. <laughs> so if we go out the door here, we've got our platforms that we've built around the base, as you can see. In, the, in, uh, in every corner, we've got some guns. I've built all 100, well, I've used all 100 guns in this base. Just, you know, it's, it's very big. So you've got a lot of space here for like your crafting stuff, whatever you want to add here, bedding. You're cool. So we've used stairs this time to get to the next level, which is huge. You've got two industrial forges here, just for basically reference, you know, to, to show you the scale and the size. You could easily fit multiple industrial forges here. Lots of room for crafting stuff. And again, we've got another platform as we go out. Two guns in either corner looking outwards. So anyone tries to... Anyone tries any funny business, they're going to get hurt. Now, I haven't added windows yet. I'll, I'll get round to that, but obviously add windows when you build this base. So if we go around here, we've built a gap or left a gap of uh, six. We've got another elevator that takes us to the next floor. Just the one now. And uh, yeah, this takes us to another level, which is, again, quite big. So very big. Again, whatever you want to use for here. You're cool, but you've got the room and space to do it. And then more stairs leading up to this level. Now, I ran out of using guns because I used all 100, but we've got a couple of guns in most of the windows up here again. And, you know, look at the size of it. You place anything up here, you've got all the room. Then here, I left a gap of three with some walls and ladders leading up. And this is where our flying tames will be. So this is the, uh, the roof of the base now. Right up here, a couple of guns lying around. And it's like a diamond shape. And then if we go in here, this is where our flying tames could be. Um, now, obviously, it's not massive. You can build it bigger. It's your preference and your call cool at that point. But if we go up, look, it's like a diamond shape building. And then at the top here, we've got two more guns in case any Quetzal attacks, you know, or any flying, uh, any enemy tribes on flying tames try some funny business or an attempt, they're going to get shot down. I mean, they're going to get shot down anyways. There's guns everywhere. That's the base, guys. It is huge. You have got so much room for activities. Anyways, let's get into the build. So we'll start things off by building a hexagon of metal triangle foundations. Once we've built that, we'll then add metal square foundations to all of them, and the gaps in between will be filled with triangle foundations again.
and it will look like this, which is a good little start. Next we're going to be doing the exact same thing and this will extend the size of the base as we go along. So add square foundations and fill the gaps with triangles. Now eventually you're going to hit a point where the ground is going to be really uneven and you're going to be unable to build because it will snap too high or too low. So in order to counter this and extend the base size we will build walls and then ceilings and triangle ceilings for the remainder and this will eliminate the issue with terrain. Assuming you want a big base just keep building like this until you hit an issue with terrain. So this is how big the base is so far, it is 4 square foundations length away from the central hexagon. Just for a size comparison, here's a rex on the base so far. So we've hit an issue with the terrain being uneven. Now we'll be doing the idea I spoke about earlier with walls and ceilings and triangle ceilings, essentially building a foundation out of walls and ceilings. This does however give us the central hexagon as a space to fill with storage, air cons if you want to be breeding, generators, anything you want to fill the space with. For later use which is really good and you're just going to be building the exact same way as you've done before so on the flat corners you'll be using squares and then to fill the gaps in between the squares you'll be using triangle ceilings and because these ceilings are elevated they're not foundations use walls to block it off from the terrain Lovely jubbly, the shape is looking really good so far. As we build out further and further, you'll need to add metal pillars underneath some of the triangle ceilings, otherwise they'll go red due to no foundation support. And again, because they're all elevated, any gaps just use walls to fill it. And this is where we're at so far, I'm loving this shape. So in total, I'm building a length of nine square foundations from the central hexagon. So now we'll be adding hatch frames to the inner hexagon and this is a way to get down to that level and like I said place your storage, generators, air cons, all that kind of stuff. And just like before we'll add square ceilings and fill the gaps with triangle ceilings and then don't forget to add ladders later on to these hatch frames otherwise you won't be able to get in and out, you'll get trapped down there. And there it is so far, lovely jubbly. And now it's time to add the walls. I'm going to build eight walls high and add two layers of greenhouse windows for aesthetics. However, if this is for a PVP base, I recommend just going solid metal walls. Don't use greenhouse. So as you can see here, I've built the walls and a ramp leading in where the gate is gonna be. However, where the flat wall meets the corner wall, I've gone one space along and brought the wall in. This way, the gate will have no clipping issues or gaps. I didn't want to disable snapping when placing the gate for this exact reason, I just didn't want any gaps or any issues with it. As for the ramp leading in, it was built using metal roofs, metal slopes and metal walls and we're going to do the exact same thing when we build the gate because it's going to have a gap underneath it or an area underneath it where it snaps onto. So on the sides where the behemoth gate will snap, you'll bring in the last row of walls at an angle using the triangle ceiling floor as the snapping point. Ultimately, how you want to build your gate into the base is completely up to you. So snap the behemoth gate in where you want it to be and make sure you're happy with it. Then build foundations under it with ceilings, walls and slope walls so it blends in with the ramp and the structure. Just note when building this gate it is going to be offset at one side, it's not going to snap perfectly.
So let's bring in our Rex and see how big this is. I think this is going to be more than enough room for your dinosaurs. <laughs> Okay, so now add another layer of walls on top of the current walls and this will go over the gate nicely. There won't be any clipping issues and it will fill the gap. Next, we'll be doing what we've been doing all along, which is adding square ceilings and triangle ceilings to fill the gaps. And this will build a roof slash ceiling to this level. And later on, we will be building an elevator to this level. Well, actually two. So this is the shape so far, just fill in the gaps with metal triangle ceilings. So here you can either build walls or windows like I have, and you also have the choice of adding platforms for every corner, so where it's the flat surface. And all that is is just one square ceiling and four triangle ceilings with two doors leading out. It's completely your choice here, but I've built these to place turrets. Above the windows we've placed down, I added greenhouse windows. Now this is for PVP, use metal. Then add metal roofs and metal triangle roofs for all the corners all the way around. And this is what it looks like so far. All we need to do now is add triangle ceilings to fill the gap. Next we'll add railings on the outside of this level. Next we'll be adding more walls using doors and windows and this will be spaced two blocks away from the railing and build this all the way around. Now we'll add solid metal walls above the doors and greenhouse walls above the metal windows. And it will look like this. So the next step is adding two layers of greenhouse triangle roofs. We're using two layers here so that we can fit multiple industrial forges on this level. And then add triangle ceilings to fill the roof and the gap, but leave a hexagon gap of six. That way we've got another way to go to the next level. This is the hexagon gap that I left and we'll use this to build our elevator leading to this level and just add metal walls where the elevator is going to be. Obviously it's your choice where you want the hexagon gap. Now add metal roofs and metal triangle roofs for the corners and make sure that they're facing outwards. Next, add greenhouse walls. Now if you struggle to snap the walls to the corners, just add a triangle ceiling roof and then remove it after placing the wall. Nice and easy. And again, building the ceiling like we have done many times before in this build with square ceilings and triangle ceilings. And again, leave a hexagon gap of six so we can get to the next level. Now on the next level, we're gonna add metal windows and metal walls. And 
this is what it's looking like so far. So we've added a layer of metal walls and a layer of metal solid walls above the greenhouse walls. Now we'll add some more metal roofs and metal triangle roofs, this time facing inwards. Again, fill the gaps with metal triangle ceilings. And that is the base shape nearly complete. We just need to add another structure for our flying teams. But before we do that, we'll go around the base and add metal railings. And this can be to the roofs, the corners, platforms, anything you want to add to is really all preference at this point. On the flat corners inside the base we'll be building elevators. I'm only going to add two small elevators and we're going to use greenhouse walls and a doorway in order to build around the elevator and give it a more aesthetic look. elevator is looking rather aesthetic now. <laughs> As mentioned earlier, add ladders to the hatchways on the first level and this will give you access to a lot of space. But at the very top of the base for our flying teams, remove three triangles and add a ladder leading up or stairs is your choice and this is where we're going to build the structure for our flying teams. To add a wall, leave a gap of two, add another wall and snap the gateway in between. From here we'll build a diamond shape, or any shape that you like at this point. We're going to build four walls high and then add two layers of metal triangle roofs.
you'll be left with this diamond shape up top. And all we do here is add six more metal triangle roofs and two triangle ceilings so that we can place two turrets for any surprise quests or attempts. So after you've placed the turrets down, the rest is up to you. If you want to build additional platforms and walkways for your turrets and stuff, go for it. This video is purely just to show you how to build the shape. What you do with this and how you make use of it, like I said, is completely up to you. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got some value out of it. Let me know in the comments what you thought and what you'd like to see built next. Be sure to subscribe, like and share as it really does help out and I massively appreciate it. And also join my Discord and share your builds. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.